Good morning, Twitch.tv. Good morning to YouTube as well. And of course, good morning, Mini Motorways. We are off to Mexico City for today's daily challenge. Looks like we're going to get one motorway to start with and then maybe not that many more as motorways do require road tiles. That'll be fine. That'll be completely and totally fine. Good morning, Sunflare's Space. Sunflare's Space was here first. And immediately, our blue guys are going to be dickbags. Fine. That's not the end of the world. We can just do this. Here. Let's run you up over to here and down there and around down here and in like so. And, as you may have heard, Nora is whining. It's a very weird thing watching a cat learn things, right? Because you, you can't really train a cat the same way you can train a dog, but you can, like, accidentally condition your cat, right? I have accidentally conditioned my cat, and at this point it's kind of on purpose. I've accidentally conditioned my cat that whenever I go to bed, she should jump on top of me, because more often than not I'll have a treat for her. And that's very cute, and I do encourage that by feeding her treats. I've also, apparently, accidentally conditioned my cat that whenever she loses a toy under the couch, or the TV stand, or a table, or in, in my left hand, and she doesn't know that I'm holding it at the moment to make a point for my Gimimimim audience, <laughs> whenever she loses a toy, she should come meow at me, because I, and I alone, have dominion over the magic stick of toy retrieval, which is a broken curtain rod, which is a, not even a curtain rod. It's one of those things you twist to adjust window blinds. Yeah, I have one of those that fell off of something and has since broken a little bit, but I can still use it as the magic wand of toy retrieval, which is a very you know, dramatic and important name for it. Uh, question, the fuck are we doing here? These are very important questions. We've got, huh. All right, well, these these new blue guys, I guess we can just do this for now. So when Nora loses a toy, uh, she can come to me and meow at me. And sometimes I'll figure out that she wants me to use the magic wand of toy retrieval to retrieve her toy. And sometimes, Nora, come here. Oh, she's noticed that I have the toy. <laughs> oh, oh, there's a kitty. Go get it. All right, I have flicked the toy. It's a tiny little, it's not even a koosh ball because koosh balls are like springy and boingy, but imagine a tiny little glitter covered koosh ball that doesn't actually spring or boing. That's the toy in question. I have flicked it, and now she is chewing on it and batting at it, and she is happy she is a cat. She is murdering it. All right, it is 7.03. Let's set the over-under, because it is July 11th, let's set the over-under at 7.11. Can Nora maintain possession of this toy for eight minutes before she bats it under the couch, or she knocks it under the TV stand, or she accidentally turns off the computer as she's trying to retrieve it because she, now she's batting it into the back of the computer, which is where all of the computer cables live. Nora, Nora, yeah, get away from there. Yeah, get away from there. Okay, there's a good kid. Oh, look, black business. Black business, bam, lamb, whoa, black business. All right, you come here. Uh, you will straight shot thusly into that. Uh, we've got all of this nonsense coming this way. Hey, you know what would go down nice and smooth right about here? Possibly a roundabout? C could I get a roundabout into here without fucking everything up? You think someone filled the kettle with vinegar? Oh, no. Oh, I think that's the kind of terrible realization you have when you're drinking the worst tea. Sunflare Space, are you drinking the worst tea? All right, uh, let's see here. We've got, let's try something weird and dumb. 
with our blue and red friends here. What if we round about into here and some of you, yes, 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 this is promising. What if you come down here into the roundabout, down over to there, fucking brilliant. Look at the thing that I've done, it's fucking brilliant. All right, so this roundabout here services as a way to fuck. It's an aphrodisiac about. It serves as a way to fuck. God damn it. All right, well, listen, this is why we have motorways, okay? You, you're gonna come down this way. You're not gonna exist. You don't matter. You are gonna take motorway number one. We don't have enough tiles to build a longer fuck up. Motorways cost road tiles. All right, fine. All right, fine. You smelled it as you poured your tea. Okay, well, that's slightly better than drinking the worst tea. I'm glad you didn't actually drink the worst tea. Here, give me 40 road tiles because I'm about to use like 17 of them. That ah, was 16. We'll have these two light blue guys come over here, service that. And you know what? This is going to do this. Let's kill that. Let's do this. This red house, if it needs to, can come down that way. It's never going to need to, so it's going to be fine, actually. Behold, more yellow dudes. Fuck. I was not prepared for more yellow dudes. All right, uh, what are we going to do about these yellow dudes? That is a wonderful question. These yellow dudes want to get over here to this business, which means... Oy, that's a good question. What does that mean? Hmm, let's see here. If you two come over to here, then this roundabout couldn't go that way. would have to tunnel up here. If it tunneled up here, then it wouldn't be able to... Hmm, okay. Well... All right, I hear digging around the table my PS5 lives on, which probably doesn't bode well for the... Yeah, I, I, I think we need to take the... No, this uh, this yellow road here is not going to work. This black guy is not going to be able to get through here without futzing with these yellow and blue guys. So, hmm. Now, if you come down here... Oh, I'm yawning. All right, um, hmm. We still haven't figured out how to get yellows over here. Well, Nora, what are you? Yeah, she lost it. All right, if you had 7-Eleven, I set the over under at 7-Eleven. If you took the over, you lose. Nora has lost her toy. Sorry, cat can't. Oh, wait, has she retrieved it? I think she's, yes. Yep, she just batted it into the kitchen and then sprinted out after it. She's got it back. The game is still afoot. All right. So these two black houses are actually now this black house can theoretically get over to this black business. And actually it occurs to me that everything can get everywhere, which is mm, bad. Yeah, it's actually not, not good, really. Oh, God. This is... This is so weird and bad and awful. I'm tempted to just say, fuck it, blow everything up. Honestly, yeah, we're going to get through to Sunday. We're going to get one more set of upgrades. And then I'm going to say, fuck it, blow everything up. This is one of those rare and special times in mini motorways where you can afford to nuke everything and redraw it. This usually happens deep in a mini metro run, not so that not so in a mini motorways run. This happens now or never. So it's gonna happen now. We're gonna nuke everything. We're gonna blow this whole map up. It's okay, folks. We're just closing the city for a week. We're tearing everything down. It's gonna be better when we're done, I promise. Okay. So we have light blue guys here. We have this light blue business here. We have yellow guys need to get over to here. We have dark blue guys need to get over to here. We have dark blue guys need to get over to here. 
black guys need to get over to here. You get 42 road tiles, two tunnels, and, one, and a couple of motorways, and just Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Okay. It's only the 14th this weekend. Friday's the 14th. Today's Tuesday, the 11th. Oh, thank heaven. It is 7 11. And also, it is the one year anniversary of me starting my new job, which I suppose, given that I've been here for exactly one year now, means I should stop calling it my new job. On the other hand, I had my last job for eight years, so this one still feels kind of new. Did you just bat my foot? Hi. Yes, you're a good kid. All right, am I rolling over your toy? I'm definitely rolling over your She whacked the toy into my foot. Hi. Whoa. All right. Do you want this? Is this what you want? Go get it. Yeah. Basically playing a very long game of fetch. Okay. Let's see here. What are we... Okay, I've blown everything up. Now what the fuck am I going to do with it? Is the question. Okay. Here's the plan. We're going to take these this is the simplest and easiest thing these three black houses are going to come around down here they're going to go around here they're going to go out to here they're going to go big long road this way they're going to go up over to here okay that's step number one step number two is that these dark blue houses these four dark blue houses are going to come together right down here. Okay. These five reds are going to come over here. They've... No, that doesn't make any sense. Hold on. Hold the phone. This phone is in need of holding. Okay. What if... Oh my god, this is... Alright, everybody run for a second. Clear yourself out. Get me some more road tiles. Let me think. Another fucking black business just spawned. That's annoying. All right, this is looking like maybe we want a centralized roundabout right here. A central roundabout right here sounds absolutely abundantly, a, a cataclysmically terrible, honestly. I think, I think the roundabout here that gets dark blue and red guys over to their respective circles was actually a good thing. And I think it needs to be ma maintained and replaced. So you and you, yeah, we're just rebuilding that roundabout. It was actually good. It was good, actually, the that roundabout story. Not actually really good, but you know, it'll be fine. Here, one spur of that roundabout will go here, one spur of that roundabout will go here, you, Red Road, will keep going over there. Now, questions. We need to service this dark blue business. We need to service... All right, everybody go. Everybody keep going. I've got two motorways. I've got a whole bunch of road. All right, you know what? This black road is just going to take care of both of these businesses. That's gonna be ugly and awful and bad, but it's gonna work. It'll be fine. All right, now, with this situation, what I currently have is these yellow guys and these dark, these yellow guys can't get here. These dark blue guys can't be served by anybody. And this light blue business is fucked. Okay. You and you go over to there. I'm gonna I'm just gonna wind up rebuilding the exact same city structure, aren't I? Oh god. Okay. Well shit. Motorway number one. Build yourself over here. Service that. Meanwhile, you two dark you two yellow guys. Take motorway number two. Right down to here. Boom like so. And that means that everybody's happy except this dark blue business. This dark blue business, I 
don't see what I can do for it. We could... Could go up here, tunnel through this way, get you into the roundabout that's going to go here. The roundabout that's going to go here would then... Okay, hold on. The roundabout that's going to go here would get replaced by these guys. Boop and boop and booby booby boop. Okay, so you two go over there. This roundabout goes right back here. Boop and boop. And now these blue guys serve as an emergency measure coming over this way. Okay, everybody go. Is this at all better than it looked five minutes, eight minutes, and 19 trips ago? Probably not. This is probably sub significantly, substantially worse. And yet, mother... I spent all that time fixing the roads and the city's already fucked again. All right, you, you just cut earlier. No, just cut earlier. You don't have to say, share road with the yellow guys. It's actually okay. Here, come down this way. Go over there. That's all fine. Here. This roundabout is not going to be anywhere near as busy as it looks like it's going to be, right? Because it looks like we've got four fucking colors coming together right over here, and that's only technically correct, which I grant is the best kind of correct, and yet. All right, you come down here. Nice, simple green road. All right, so this roundabout, not actually that big a deal. And the reason it's not actually that big a deal is thus. One, these three red guys are the primary support for this red circle, and they don't have to do shit. Actually, you know what? Well, actually, I've got these two black guys not doing anything, which is bad. To be clear, that's bad, but it's not much I can do about it. Anyway. These three red guys are the primary support for this circle, okay? So they're not going into the roundabout at all. Next, these light blue guys, who look like they're, you know, interloping all over the place and really fucking with shit, are actually only going to motorway number one. Motorway number one is accessed up here on this road, which, as we've previously discussed, is not actually going to be used that much because we got these guys. So this road is mostly fine. It's okay that there are multiple colors sharing this road. Everything's coming up Goog House. The primary customers of the roundabout are actually these dark blue guys getting over to this circle, which is fine. Listen, somebody has to be a primary consumer. It's okay. You go over there. Now, we have yet more black bullshit. We already had enough, I thought. But no, the game has seen fit to give us more. Fine. You and you can do that. You can swing up that away to be thusly accommodating. You over here. Take motorway number three. Enjoy 24 of my road pieces. God damn it. All right. So you come down over here. That's okay. Suddenly, we have an awful lot of black houses supporting these two black businesses, which is great. That's good. That's what you want in a society. Can I get one more black house to spawn down south here? Because if I can get one more black house to spawn down south here, I can, like, redraw this bullshit. And if we can redraw this bullshit, that would just be mm, wonderful. Speaking of redrawn bullshit, uh, these light blue guys here are fucked for the moment. Because, like, there's there's no way they can get over to here. You see you see the problem, right? I, ha I have a, a lot of dudes and not a lot of road. Yeah, that's the general problem. Okay. Fortunately... Uh, it's gonna be Sunday night before this thing die dies, so it, it's gonna be close, but we should be okay. Also, ooh, 
we did just get another black house to spawn here. So this is promising. This is going to be okay. It actually is, I swear to God. Uh, give me another motorway. Let's pause everything. Okay. You are an annoying black house, but you're fine. Biggest and most important deal is I need... Oh, here. Give me some more road tiles over here. Thank you. All right. You three blue guys, save that blue house. You black guys, come over here to take care of this business. All right, go. Uh, this is closer than I'd like it to be, but I think it's okay. Closer than I'd like it to be, but I think it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right, you're fine. While you're being fine, uh, why don't you come over here, take care of that. Actually, you know what? Just for future's sake, we're going to not separate these red houses. These three black houses are going to serve this black business that that actually saves a bunch of road tiles from the motorway that I had over here, which is great. Everybody go. Speaking of motorways, do I want to motorway these three blue guys? It seems like a waste of tiles, but on the other hand, would save, well, would save time. All right, here, let's motorway these three blue guys. Do, do I even have the, I don't have the road to do that, though. Shit. All right, long-term project, we're gonna motorway these three blue guys. Short-term project, we're gonna leave this alone and pretend that it's okay. Here, you come here, you're actually okay. You and you and you do that. This green business, totally fine. Matter of fact, it's kind of a problem that, yeah, it's kind of a problem that these greens are here because now these four just want to service everything. So, you know, suboptimal situationship going on here. But generally speaking, it's okay. Generally speaking, everything's fine. Sort of, a little bit. You continue hooking up that away, that'll be okay. These green guys are just doing their thing right now. Uh, if I motorway this over to this, then is there a way that I can... No, I can't really... I can't really circumvent the... Oh, fuck. Okay. Take a tunnel and pause. So, I have 25 road tiles, which should be enough to draw a motorway from these three over to that. Unfortunately, there's no great, well, let's see. If we nuke all of these, I don't get any of those back right now because they're all in use. You three come up here like so, and that takes 24 road tiles. Good God. Motorways costing road tiles is the scariest and in many ways worst thing. Everybody go. Now, this business is still, you know, angry at me. I think for the most part, it's going to be okay. I hope. Here. You go that away. You come up here. Uh, you are a black business that lives there. Uh, this, bis th this blue guy's actually okay, right? Oh, this blue guy's not actually okay. No, it just died. I left it alone too long, and then it couldn't recover, and we got 847 trips done. That's bad. It's not good. It's a, it's a thing that I have failed at. Bottom 45%, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I believe that. Bad job, Goog. Bad job. Let's make up for it with Wordle? Maybe? Hopefully? Possibly? We'll do a great job on the Wordle, right? Hey, okay. I, that's a that's a fucking good start. Uh, it could be no, it can't be Targe because there's a G in Targe. It could be a la carte. It could totally be a la carte. That's hey, listen, uh, happy Earth Day, everybody. We got the Wordle in three. Nito. Okay, listen, I mean, I'm not going to lie, I'd rather do well on the Mini Motorways Daily Challenge than knock out the Wordle in 20 seconds, but 
if we're gonna knock out the Wordle in 20 seconds, that means there's time for me to, ooh, we will be running two games for July 11th, possibly because today is the day of the MLB All-Star Game. One updating at midnight and one around 11.30 a.m. Eastern. Ooh, fun times coming at the Immaculate Grid. But first, let's figure this out. All right. We have the Tampa Bay Rays, the Cincinnati Reds, the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim, the Baltimore Orioles, and the Atlanta Atlantans. Also, we have to figure out some all-stars. So, let's see here. A Los Angeles Angel of Anaheim who was an all-star is Jim Edmonds. He was an all-star with Los Angeles. That's good and fun and well done. A Baltimore Oriole who was an all-star, presumably with the Orioles. I mean, the obvious answer is Cal Ripken's kid. And I could probably guess that uh, I think J.J. Hardy made an all-star team from the Orioles. That would make sense. He was on those bad early 2010s teams. But then again, Manny Machado was. So, well, Sunflare Space, as long as you remember the Atlanta Atlantans, you're going to be fine. Absolutely 100% gonna be fine. Let's not fuck around with this. Let's just actually get some of them correct, shall we? Observe. A Baltimore Oriole who was an all-star is Cal Ripken Jr. We're not fucking around here. 18% got that. Great. An Atlanta Atlantan who was an all-star is Tom Glavin. Tom Glavin had to have been an all-star at some point. Good. Only 3% of people who got that square picked Tom Glavin. Probably because the kind of person who would go for Tom Glavin would also go for Greg Maddox, who was more famous, but I digress. Now then, the hard part. This has been the easy part. Now, let us move on to the hard part. A Los Angeles Angel of Anaheim who was also a Cincinnati Red. I'm pretty sure Brandon Phillips went to the Angels after he left the Reds. I know we bounced around for a while, but I'm pretty sure he was an angel. I'm reasonably confident that he was an angel. We're going to say Brandon Phillips. He was totally an angel. Hooray. Okay. Now it actually legitimately gets difficult because I don't know any of these off the top of my head. Let's think. A Tampa Bay Ray who was any of these things good god the thing about the tampa bay rays is that by design they never hang on to any player longer than like four years and more often than not their players are generic disposable replaceable for a long time they're bad oh god okay uh, a guy named Ramirez. Well, Manny Ramirez did play for the, for the Rays, but he did not play for the Angels, Orioles, or Atlantans. And Aramis Ramirez, I think, might have played for the Orioles, but didn't play for the Reds or, Reds or Rays. So, no. I think we're incorrect on that front. Let's see here. Ken Griffey's kid was a Red, but he played for neither the Orioles nor the Atlantans. Sean Casey's in the same boat. Babe Ruth, I think, played for... I know he played for the Red Sox and the Yankees. He might have played for the Boston Bostonians, who were an early precursor to the Atlanta Atlantans. But he definitely did not play for the Cincinnati Reds, nor did he play for the Tampa Bay Rays. Part of the reason for the latter is that the Tampa Bay Rays came into existence roughly 50 years after he died. So, there's that. Here's the fun thing about Major League Baseball. The Cincinnati Reds have existed in basically their present form since mm, roughly 1892. The Tampa Bay Rays have existed in their present form since 1998. <laughs> so that's fun. Oh, God. All right. Sean Casey was a Red, but neither an Oriole nor an Atlantan. 
Ditto Joey Votto. Um, Scott Rowland was a red, but no. Uh, Billy Hamilton was a red. No. That, well, he was, but he doesn't fit the category anywhere else. Oh, goodness. Bronson Arroyo was a red. Neither an Oriole nor an Atlantan. Willie Mopena was a red. I'm so bad at game. Ellie de, la Clu Ellie de la Cruz is a red. He's been a red for mm, roughly 20 minutes, so... Huh. Travis Darno. Travis Darno fits this one. He was an Atlantan and a Ray. There we go. An Oriole and a Ray or an Angel and a Ray. Garrett Anderson was an Angel. I don't think he played for the Rays at the end of his career. Mo Vaughn was an Angel. Uh, he might have been a Ray at the... No, I think I'm... Uh, let's see here. Jones, Pascal, and Black. Well, Chipper Jones was an Atlantan, but never a Red. Andrew Jones was an Atlantan, but never a Red. Uh, I can't think of any major leaguers named Pascal. Burt Blylevin, I know of as a twin, but we established yesterday that he played with other teams. Problem is, those other teams include the Tigers and shit. So, hmm. What about pitchers? Jim Palmer was an Oriole. Was he also a red? I don't think so. Mike Mussina was an Oriole, but also a Yankee. Neither a red nor a ray. Miguel Batista was an Oriole. Uh... The Orioles had that Rockies guy who they picked up after he was clearly junk, whose name is escaping me. But that Rockies guy was a Rocky, and then an Oriole, and then he kind of flamed out and stopped being a baseball player. It's what happens to baseball players. Eventually, they stop being baseball players. It's true of all of us, really. Um, let's see here. God, this is probably so easy, and I'm just bad at game. Fred McGriff would have fit for an Atlantan who was also a Ray. Wade Boggs would have fit. Actually, Wade Boggs was never an Atlantan. Nor was he an Oriole nor an Angel. Jose Canseco was a Ray. That doesn't help. Greg Vaughn was a Ray. Evan Longoria was a Ray. Was he an No. No, he just got straight traded to the National League West, and he's been there forever. Manny Machado was an Oriole, but he's only played for the Orioles, Dodgers, and Padres. J.J. Hardy, I mentioned earlier. Was he a Ray? Why do I feel like J.J. Hardy was a Ray? No, he was a twin. He was a twin and an Oriole, and then he went and fucked off and did other things. Presumably played for other baseball teams. So bad a game. Um, B.J. Ryan was an Oriole. That doesn't help me. I think Billy Koch was an Oriole. He's more famous as a Blue Jay. That doesn't help. <sighs> Homer Bailey was a Red. Homer Bailey played for the, for the Atlantans? Why do I have a feeling that Homer Bailey was an Atlantan? That doesn't make any sense. Sonny Gray. Sonny Gray. Sonny Gray? Sonny Gray. I think Sonny Gray was an... Or well, let me think here. Sonny Gray was a Red. He's also been an Athletic and a Yankee. Was he an Oriole? Hmm. Now I'm not certain. Jimmy Rollins was a Philly. And I think he played for other teams, but I don't know which. Possibly the Reds, but that doesn't help much. Lee Smith was an Angel, but not a Ray. I think he may also have been an Atlantan, but not a Red. 
Luis Robert plays for the White Sox. Robert Pattinson is an actor. Robert Downey Jr. is an actor. I think I may have strayed too far afield here. Kevin Costner's an actor. Oh, God. I amuse myself if no one else, and that's what matters, truly. Let's see here. We're never going to get anywhere if I don't take a fucking guess. Sonny Gray was totally an Oriole and a Red. You heard it here first. I was wrong about stuff. Turns out I'm bad at the... I'm so bad at game. All right. <laughs> uh, Miguel Batista was totally a Ray in addition to being a Oriole. Nope. Sad times. Uh, Sonny Gray, turns out I was wrong. He actually pitched for Atlanta in addition to Cincinnati. Nope. Uh, Kevin, David, and Armstrong. Okay. Uh, Kevin Euclid was a Red Sox player and a Yankees player. And I think that's about it. David Price was a Ray who also played in Los Angeles, but he played for the Dodgers. So that only helps so much. Uh, Neil Armstrong was an astronaut. Lance Armstrong was a cyclist and now a shitbag. So, yeah, it doesn't help as much either. Um, we're going to say that Wilson Alvarez totally pitched for the Angels, even though I have no memory of it. Wilson Alvarez. There you go. I was wrong. <laughs> Behold, the complete collapse of the underscore gook. The moment anything goes terribly wrong in the Immaculate Grid. Samurai Sam is going to watch this and be so very disappointed in me. But that's a problem for future gook. What else is a problem for future Goog is that I have an all-day job assignment that's scheduled to go from 9.30 to 5.30, and if it does that, I won't want to come back and play Final Fantasy VI later tonight because I will want more than anything else in this world to be out of this fucking computer chair. So let's hope that doesn't happen. Hopefully, I will be back tonight with more Final Fantasy VI, but if not, it will definitely be tomorrow morning for another edition of Good Morning Mini Motorways. Nora lost her toy again, so she's come back to... Yeah, I'll get the stick in a second, kitty. Okay. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>